When you're marketing your indie film, you have to keep in mind that the person might be going through different stages before they watch your movie. So depending on the industries, these stages can be called different things. In our case, we're going to call them awareness, consideration, decision, and nurturing. In the case of awareness, the person who might be watching your movie is dealing with some kind of discomfort or a problem they might have. They might have a question that they need answered and your film can potentially have this answer if it's a documentary film, for example, or they might be feeling lonely or bored at home. And then a movie that is more entertaining, like a fantasy film could be the solution to their problem in the awareness phase. What they're looking for is a answer to the problem. They have an answer to the question they might have. In this case, you are not promoting your film yet. So you are creating content that will be answering this issue that they might have. If it's a question, answer that question. And potentially they might move to the next stage, which is the consideration phase. In that phase, they discover that your film exists and they might understand and try to assess if your film is something that they need or not. What does this look like? So if your movie is playing in a film festival, for example, you are listed in the program guide. When a person is in the consideration phase, they are browsing the program guide and trying to select the movies that they want to watch. They are selecting movies based on the genres that they like, but within this genre, you might have several movies that are horror film, for example, or several animation films. And they are trying to select one, two, maybe three films that they would like to watch at this film festival. So you will have to be creating content online that will be serving that purpose. In the consideration phase, you're giving them a taste of what the movie might look like. So you have things like the trailer snippets of the film. You might also have behind the scene content, talking with a film director, talking with an actor or the writer, and you're trying to give them all the pros that they would get from watching your movie. You're basically telling them that this is going to solve the problem they have, or this is going to alleviate the pain that they have, that loneliness, that boredom, etc. The third phase is the decision phase. The content for this piece is obviously watching the movie itself, but it could also include things like a Q and a that follows the movie, especially if your film is at a film festival. The fourth phase is the nurturing stage. This comes after they have watched your movie. And if you are interested in creating a community of people that are like-minded, who are also interested in a similar genre that you might be producing in the future, if you are planning on creating a series of horror films or animation films or documentary films, then it is important for you to have a proper strategy and a content marketing strategy for your nurturing stage. In that stage, you are giving them bonus material. You are developing the story a little bit further, but you also include things like more behind the scene content and film updates, filmmaker updates, but Indie filmmakers tend to overdo it when it comes to film updates. You don't have to only create that kind of content and please do not only create that kind of content because at some point people will be bored if all you're doing is just telling them what is the next film festival you're part of and that you're, for example, launching a crowdfunding campaign. This is the typical indie film strategy but you have to water it down a little bit further and include some bonus material, some entertaining content, some educational content. People in the nurturing phase are looking to consume content that is similar to what they have already seen, because this is why they like to in the first place. So you are creating entertaining content similar to what you have in the decision phase. You are creating educational content similar to what you have in the awareness phase, etc. Now, if you final notes, when you're developing this content marketing strategy in four stages, keep in mind that it's unlikely that people will follow these stages in a linear way. It is usually an exceptional thing when people follow these stages in a linear way. What we're trying to do here is simplify different mindsets that people might be in when they approach you and they discover your movie. So by creating content for all these four stages, you're making sure that you're covering all your bases. When you're developing the strategy, start developing content for the nurturing phase and then the decision phase before you start moving up. 
So by the time you get to the awareness phase where you have a lot of people coming into that funnel, you have the whole structure set up and ready for them. And once you start from the bottoms up, you're creating content for the low hanging fruit. One last thing as well, when you're creating content for your strategy, don't create content that you think you would like to watch or the content that you think other people should watch or they should know about. Create the content that they need to watch or that they would want to watch. Meaning you have to do some research, ask some questions, maybe interview a few people that you know, and then create the content that they need and they want, because this is the only way you're going to build a community and make sure that they get the content that they want and they would want to follow you on social media to learn more and hear more about what you have to say.